Hi, next part of uh, Wandel on Gulterman Analyzer Teardown. Today we will have a look at some small parts, the power supply and the printer in no particular order. I will start with the small parts. So, when you do a device and you want it uh, at a reasonable price and you need to put a cosmetic plate over the AC input, you use a plate of steel, but not here. Just for this, they did use a machined aluminium piece. Look at this. So, just this is already pretty insane. Um, we have here the power switch which was uh, attached to the side so if you want to spend money of course on your power switch you use brass screws for no reason there is something interesting about this switch it is the red indicator inside and actually it is not part of the switch it is part of the cap it is a regular cap but there is this little feature here, quite nice. So I may keep this assembly as it is. Uh, next, so on the rear panel there was a DC output apparently for some a kind of accessory. It is a regular uh, barrel connector for DC. But it is in this aluminium tube with uh, capacitive pass-through so really spare no expense and uh, from the back panel I saw this plate with just one BNC and one uh, cover here you use 3 mm thick aluminium and just for a little blanking uh, cover you use two screws on another, on another aluminium plate so you get the ID. Now the um, this shielded module from the front with uh, inputs or outputs. So you will have here the regular uh, Wandel or Gulterman uh, coax connectors which you can uh, fit with anything you want as BNCs with the help of the special tool which was provided and which I did not find anymore ok so what do we have in these things and here we have regular banana connectors one interesting thing on this shielding look they did write the uh, material chemical composition so apparently it is a copper base with nickel and zinc really nice but I do not know if I will be able to sell it at my scrapyard as a tinned uh, copper and one thing these uh, parts are actually razor sharp really really delicate I will need to take care of them put them in a cardboard box or something when I dispose of them because they are quite dangerous things and here we have uh, pretty interesting uh, details so this uh, con banana connectors block as you can see die cast metal for this uh, ground one so this can be saved and reused probably we have some kind of uh, transformer here little uh, coax going to the inside of the device and these things which are really really weird Matsushita relays in this package I uh, believe it is the first time I see them so I will probably try to open one of them in order to see what there is inside they might be pretty expensive part DX2-5V seems to be the model number 
Dortmund, quite a lot of uh, contacts on them. The other module here will probably be more or less the same. Yes, exactly the same. Nice standoff here to save. And the only one relay of the same kind. Okay. We are good for this. Now we can go to the printer. So about this printer assembly, there is also a memory card reader on the side here. It is not a PCMCIA, it is something proprietary. And you can see if you need to put rails for your memory card, you use machined aluminium blocks, of course, because it is more expensive. So this thing is just crazy, really. Okay, it seems it has its own controller board here at the back. But first, I can undo the printer like this. We will have a look at it just after. Oh yes, here on the side we have the inverter for the backlight of the display. Okay, so this is an off-the-shelf module, it seems, made by another company. I'm branded for, uh, well, maybe it is a special order, but they did not make it themselves. But it looks like I may be able to reuse it directly as a CCFL driver but there is no information about the ratings so it is a keeper most probably and then we have this box for the printer and to attach it to the front panel we need a screw holes so we use a brass block with two screws each time to attach it no uh, rivets bullshit or anything like this no serious stuff only i will undo it later i will just undo the four screws here These are regular um, screws for uh, Wendell and Gulterman, I believe. Most of the devices did use this kind of screws with flat head, like this, this particular design. So this board here, I am not sure what it is all about. Is not to drive the printer, it is something else, but it is not written. And about the manufacturing date of the device, we have 94 here. And as you can see, a lot of hardware. So on this board, we have seems to be some power management stuff. Yep. Um, maybe a back power supply or something like this fuse and IRF one five one zero. Okay, and it is interesting this little fuse is actually on a socket. So it is a keeper. And here is the board to control the uh, memory card. Okay. We are left here with the printer. Which is probably a very common 
تعمل برينت كل واحد نيد مار بس بارت في بوي so it looks like this and we have here one more screw One more brass part on this little band to control it. So it is not branded on the angle command, so maybe it is uh, something um, of the shelf that could be reused. Nothing special here, except uh, uh, some shielding in this. Okay, now we can go to the main piece of this uh, video, the power supply. So, this enormous and EV power supply is made by Ascom Faco. For Wendell Uncle Taman. Uh, here are uh, adjustments for the outputs. And here is what it looks inside. It is very heavy, 30 cm long. Other side here. The uh, AC input. Here we have voltage selector, dual fuse, and main switch so in order to have a better look I need to extract <coughs> the electronics uh, let me find it out <coughs> ok it is interesting maybe I will be more lucky here Time you have a little uh, pressure behind the screw. Oops. So we have obviously a sandwich of PCBs. I hope they will come uh, apart nicely. Uh, let me figure out. I really want to undo this screw here. So I will be right back. Okay. So, first course remaining, and we should be able to. <coughs> it is fun because some of the screws are quite loose, and other ones are really tight. These ones, for instance, are really. <coughs> They are small uh, number one Philips too, so you cannot use a big screwdriver. Okay, so here is the cover, uh, just a steel box here, nothing special. We have insulating material here by Cyflex, Synflex. Interesting. But we haven't got one on the other side because we have these big standoffs, but still it is weird. So I could now separate, I believe, the two parts. Ah, oh, excuse me, it is actually here. But this one has no brand on it. Oh no, we are attached here with this uh, piece. Okay, so 
as you can see, very, very beefy as it was power supply. There will probably be a number of parts to retrieve. A big capacitor bank here, they all seem to be in good condition. lot of uh, power devices, big heat sinks, big uh, coils here, big transformer here, here have a little potentiometer to cool it from the outside, really really impressive piece of equipment, on the other side here, Seems like we have some uh, regulation uh, boards here or control boards. All the capacitors are in good shape, really. Mains uh, filtering caps here, it seems, for the input, mains input. We do not see the main bridge rectifier. Oh, it is back here. Anyways, I will open this box. Oh, it is written what it is. Filter best Trex Kongs for visual control by someone. Oh, it was not filled. So it must be the line input filter in here. Common mode filter in an EV steel box for maximum shading so we can expect a big coil on the big capacitors I guess excuse me these parts are always good to save One screw left and okay. Oh, that was close. what we are stuck here but I will try it open like this so you can see yes just the mains filtering here one funny thing about these capacitors they are regular snap on capacitors and they did put them horizontally with this little interconnect pieces here is our bridge rectifier and it is actually all except that for some reason this board is socketed but not this one ok so it is all for today stay tuned for the next part when we will have a look at the motherboard bye bye